you're leaving. I don't want to leave you. When, when they come, I need to be with my family. Oh, shit. Safe. Safe as anyone can be now. Aww. They don't need me anymore. Aww. They've been together since... I don't. Season... Oh, well. He just said he didn't need her. <laughs> That's all you've got to say. Thank you. Bran. Thank you. Bran. What are you... For helping. What are you doing? I remember what it felt like to be Brandon stuff. I remember so much else now. <laughs> okay. Well, that kind of confirms my Bran is no longer Bran and he he's. In that cave. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I agree with Mira. Bran Stark died in that cave. Is that. Is that. Please tell me that's art. <laughs> oh! It's Arya. Oh my god. Oh my. I'm looking at my- I- 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 Sam- Oh! Do I have to call you Lady Stark now? Oh fuck! Here we are! Yes. Dude, they're reunited since like season one they haven't been together. However long my list got, he was always first. Your list? Of people I'm going to kill. <laughs> She's serious. She already killed... Mm. How did you get back to Winterfell? It's <laughs> a long story. Hell yeah, it's a long story. I wonder if she'll ever tell her family that she killed Waterfrey. thought you might go to King's Landing. So did I. Why would you go back there? <laughs> Cersei's on her list of names. Oh. Ah, that's, yeah, Sansa kind of thought she was kidding, or not really, but, you know, she didn't think she was serious, and now that Bran... What else is on your list? Arya will make great use of that knife. Oh, yeah. That, mmm, she has now that dagger and needle. That's great. I'm wondering how this interaction is going to go between Arya and Brienne, because the last time they saw each other, Bran killed the hounds, even though the hounds A-OK -okay at this point. I'm interested to see how big this pile of dragon glass is gonna be, because if it's huge, that would be great. Okay, yeah, that'll do. <laughs> like, they can make so many weapons. I will fight for you. I will fight for the North. Hey. When you bend the knee. Oh, uh, well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I kind of saw that coming. I have three large dragons. I'm going to fly them to the Red Keep. We've discussed this. My enemies are in the Red Keep. Yeah, but you can't... What kind of a queen am I if I'm not willing to risk my life to fight them? A smart one. Thank you, Tyrion. Don't lunge. Podrick is getting his ass beat all the time. I can't wait for him to eventually, hopefully, best Brienne. But we'll find out. Oh, poor boy. Oh! I was waiting for this. I was waiting for this. Arya. You can't use that, my lady. It's too small. I won't cut you. Don't worry. <laughs> Confidence. Oh, shit. Incredible. Oh, Podrick is like, damn girl, get it. Oh man, I'm gonna keep this. And I like how Sansa is seeing it because she'll understand the gravity of what Arya has become. No 
Oh, that was the best thing. I thought there was gonna be there's gonna be animosity, but there wasn't. That I, I'm definitely gonna go rewatch that again. If you couldn't tell how happy I was in that moment. Oh, little finger, stop! Stop being creepy. Is that Theon? My first instinct was Jorah, but I don't think that's gonna happen this episode. So Theon is good too. We we will have a little bit of oh Theon and John. Holy shit! See you right. What you did for her is the only reason I'm not killing you. Oh, poor boy. Break on. Dick on. Bron, he's the best. Oh, holy shit. Oh, they're so screwed. But J Jamie and Bron, get out because you need to be in the safe zone. Everyone else can die. Danny's up a point. Man, she was losing for a while, but Danny is definitely up. Braun, Jamie, I plead you, get the hell out of there. I have I'm speechless. I can't say any Look at that. Oh, oh my god, tears in my eyes. This is so beautiful. There are so many people on fire. You couldn't even imagine the stuntman having to do this. Oh, Braun, I really hope he's okay, because if he, this man dies right now, I'm about to be pissed. Come on, Braun. Oh, come off the... Holy crap. This fight, like the fights this season have been. Oh. <laughs> oh no, the big crossbow. Oh my god, Tyrion. Tyrion is a thing. It's he's here, he's a thing. Jamie's here. Why is this show so good? And Braun. Braun is in it. I don't know if they're gonna meet, but. She's falling. Oh my god. Oh, Braun. Are you all good? Okay, he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Oh, there's so many people I like in this show, and it's an issue. Just kidding. I don't like anybody. Knock on wood. No one dies. Oh, <laughs> Tyrion. <laughs> Tyrion right now. Idiot. Come on. No. No, 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 no. Oh, thank god. Oh, thank god. Oh, thank god. I almost had a freaking heart attack. Jamie almost died. Jesus Christ. Who saved him? Braun? Oh, Jamie's... He's a little bit... He's a little bit drowning right now. Oh, is Tyrion gonna think he's dead? I swear if this show ends right now... <laughs> the, I was gonna say last episode was my favorite so far this season. For just swiped last episode's ass. That was fantastic. Okay, let's talk about it. I wrote down a hell of a lot of things, so this might be a long discussion. If you're not in for a long discussion, if you're not in a long for, you know, if you're not here for a discussion, bye bye <laughs> I'm gonna try to get through these quick and concise and in one take. Not gonna happen in one take, but we'll find out. Anyway, anyway, first things first, we have Littlefinger and Bran and the dagger, that whole situation. Littlefinger, presented the dagger that was supposed to kill Bran in the first place to him and Bran was like, I'm not having it and Littlefinger is obviously trying to figure Bran out. I think that's what his thing is because like he told Sansa last episode, um, you have to figure out who everyone else is, if they're their enemy, if they're your friend or if they're both, you know? So I think that's what Littlefinger's trying to do and also I did not like how he was looking at Arya in the fight. <sighs> 
just mmm. Jamie and Braun, I think I'm gonna push that a little bit towards the end of this discussion that I'm about to have with a camera uh, because I'm pretty sure Braun is the one that saved Jamie from being burned to a crisp. But uh, the next thing that I want to talk about was Mira leaving Bran and her right on the dot line that you died in that cave, Bran. Like he, that is, that's how I'm going to think of it now. Bran Stark is dead. That's, this is just my mind. This is what he, he might, you know, he, we might see him again, but as right now in Game of Thrones, Bran Stark is dead and it's just the Three-Eyed Raven. I do believe he cares for his family, but I don't think that, I, I think he cares for everybody. I just don't, oh God, I just don't think he cares as much as he did three seasons ago. I honestly believe that the Three-Eyed Raven is Bran, or it is, you know, it's very complicated, obviously, but I do believe that what Mira said is completely factual. Then we have Arya reunited with Sansa and Bran. Uh, Arya reuniting. It, it, she came in exactly how I wanted her to. Like, came in like a badass and just did whatever she wanted. Went down to see the crypt and stuff like that and she had a conversation with Sansa that I thought was very interesting because um, they're both obviously different people from because the thing the last time they saw each other Arya was a little girl and Sansa was just an like a, a, a teenager like the cliche just teenager like oh boys and all this stuff you know but um we we saw Arya mention the list and Sansa kind of just like laughed it off kind of like the Lannister soldiers back in episode one laughed whenever Arya was saying that she was gonna go kill Cersei and it's like no she's serious and Sansa didn't really pick up on that but Arya kind of was like haha laugh it off because I heard nah. and um then we have after that, I'm going to skip a little ahead, whenever Arya um, met up with Bran again and Bran mentioned the list and obviously Arya and Bran don't know each other and they're kind of starting to figure out that Bran's really serious and he knows stuff. And Sansa kind of looked at Arya like, oh shit, like you're for real. You probably killed a lot of people that, like the names of people I know and I wonder, I, th I said in my um, reaction, I was like, I wonder if we'll find out who killed Walter Frey or if Sansa will find out or if Bran will tell Sansa because I'm pretty sure Bran would know at this point. I loved the history that we had in this episode a little bit. We we, we saw Danny kind of fully understand that the White Walkers are real and they're a threat and she even said that she would fight for Jon if he would bend the knee and I don't know how I feel about it the whole bending the knee to to Danny I I think ultimately it's going to come to an it's going to come to a head and one way or the other they're going to help each other I don't know if John will bend the knee I don't know if Danny will fully realize the White Walker potential threat I don't know but I do have to say Davos said what a lot of John and Danny shippers want and uh, he said something like oh you you know staring at or something like that and listen I'm personally not a John and Danny shipper I just think that they're too, uh, it's too complicated um, but I, I personally think that they belong like not like you know just apart not in that like friends of course but family of course but it's not like that but you know it might happen it might not we'll see later on in the season I guess Arya and Brienne the fights probably my favorites I was gonna say it's my favorite scene of this of the season so far but then we had the fight of the, with the Dothraki and the Lannisters and that was crazy but before we get into that Arya and Brienne's fight was incredible because we saw the moves that Arya had were very reminiscent of her time in um with Jacken and her fighting and learning and stuff like that and the way that she can dance around Brienne and Brienne was even impressed at first I thought there was gonna be animosity between them because Brienne killed the Hound and as much as Arya doesn't want to admit it the Hound was like a a, a mentor to Arya like they they had a relationship and I hope we have a reunite re, a reunion between them but we'll obviously maybe see that soon I just love the fight and the best part I said a while a while back when I was watching season six I was like oh man I really want 
Sansa and Jon to see Arya fight. And we had that and we saw the look on Sansa's face of just, wow, you know, like she is definitely surprised and I think a little wary of Arya now because Arya has definitely changed. I, the only person that really hasn't I mean, they all change. The Stark family all has changed, but it's like Arya and Bran have been through the weirdest shit, I think, of the. Even though Jon got back, back, back to life, Arya and Bran definitely went through some weird, weird stuff. So I wonder if we'll see any more of that. I was very interested, slash kind of expecting the Theon and Jon reunion to go as it went because I don't know how much Jon knows about Theon and everything like that but I am glad that Sansa told Jon about Theon rescuing her and I hope that we have a Theon Sansa reunion because I feel like they under they I think those two characters will understand each other like nobody else in the show because they were both tortured by Ramsay and I don't think anybody will completely understand Theon except for Sansa and I hope that that brings something to his life because right now Theon is just so tortured and so mentally broken and it hurts because I I didn't like Theon in season two. We all saw where he went, but after seeing him being tortured for probably years with Ramsay, he doesn't, he, he just deserves to be happy. That's my personal opinion, obviously. And then we have Dothraki versus the Lannisters, which I consider one of the most deadly fights probably of Game of Thrones. Like Battle of the Bastards for sure is the number one, but this one is, ugh. The amount of people on fire and the agony and the screams you could hear and just every single moment they took with when we had because Bronn and Jamie were our two protagonists on the ground and you saw like each and every time they would pan to them you would see their looks of horrors and these people are burning to death. Like Jamie saw at one point people clawing to the water and you're sitting here like you like these people are dying in probably the worst way possible and there it, it was just in that scene when Bronn was like running through the fire it was pretty much all a one shot except for a few little cuts in there but Bronn was just like going through the fire and seeing all this happen it was because he was right in the thick of it Jamie was kind of on the outskirts but we saw you know that happen and then obviously um Braun went to go get the crossbow, which I didn't think was going to be had, even though that crossbow was completely destroyed at this point. But we did see it get used and we did see the dragon get hurt. Now, obviously the dragon's not dead quite yet, but if, an, if they have enough of those, I think, and I have a prediction that, it, that one of Danny's dragons will die this season. Also quick mention, the fact that we ended on a cliffhanger of all cliffhangers, we had Tyrion at the battle and I was, I was waiting, I, even, I, was, I got very excited because Tyrion and Jaime have one of my favorite relationships because they're the two brothers that get each other. We don't, we haven't seen a lot of them. We, we haven't seen a lot, but we know that they care for each other and I do think they still care for each other, even if Jamie said that he would kill Tyrion if he ever saw him again. But I loved whenever Tyrion was like, you idiot, flee, because he loves Jamie, And I just thought that was incredible. And then we see Jamie being saved by what I assume to be Bronn, because who else would save Bronn or Jamie? Maybe it's a uh, Dickon, is that his name? I don't know. The, the, uh, the other kid that was, you know, yeah, maybe him, but I think it was most likely Bronn and we saw Jamie kind of like float down to the water. So I'm wondering next episode, we're going to pick up right where we left off or will we pick up Jamie with Danny and Tyrion as a prisoner again, because <laughs> Jamie has been a prisoner multiple times, but yeah. Okay, everyone, thank you for watching. And if you want to see my previous reaction, I'll link to this clip in the description. As always, I will see you next time.